Hey guys, it's your boy William Lee, the sickest in the game, and today we're running Windows 11 on bare metal. Uh, this is the leaked insider preview build. Um, you know, if it's anything like the Windows 10 leaked insider build, it's going to be more or less the sort of the form of what they're going to be shipping, uh, with just a few minor changes and stuff along the way. Um, I've already set it up to sort of how I like it, um, so we'll be going into a sort of preset desktop and stuff like that that I've already toyed with and customized. Um, but to start off with, I'm going to show you uh, just some stuff that I dislike about it. Um, I mean, really, there's nothing I like about it. It's just Windows 10, but with like a visual uplift. Um, and I think it fixes a lot of the scaling issues, but I don't scale anything, so it doesn't really matter to me. Um, yeah, it, it's, 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 you know, it's Windows 10, but fucked, you know, at, at this point. It's, okay, so... By default, the Windows Start menu is in the middle of the screen. You know, I always joke like, "What OS do the Windows Ten people uh, do? Do the Windows like team use?" Because apparently, it's not Windows because they haven't freaking got any idea how people use it. Because you know, ninety-five, ninety-eight, ME, two thousand, XP, Vista, seven. It's in the bottom left. That is what people have learned. That's what makes sense. Uh, it's not just the different apps down the bottom. Uh, you, know, you can pin them and make it that way, but I don't know. It's just not very tidy for me, um, especially when you've got like heaps of apps open, like you're multitasking between like three different creative softwares and you've got the, the File Explorer windows open for each one. It just clutters it up really fast. And I just like, I prefer to have this tidy little tray of my little apps in it. And, you know, let's just talk about the start menu. So you open it up, it's just sort of floating in the middle of nowhere. It's got these rounded edges, which sort of goes with the whole design language of the of Windows 11. Um, first thing I noticed is there's no start tiles. They worked so hard to add them into Windows to hand fist it down your throat. And... In this build, at least, they're, they're not present, but I feel like they're out. Like, there's no more start tiles, um, which would make sense in a, in a way. Like, people initially didn't like them. Third-party apps had no way of integrating with them unless they were native Windows UI. And people just didn't utilize them except for, like, yeah, first-party apps. And, like, heavily Windows Store, as app, Windows Store apps, you know? Um... So that's Gonski, uh, which really sucks because I had them all nicely arranged. I had it all neat in the corner out of the way and like the apps that I use most and like all the creative apps all in one little place. Um, but instead you've just got like a pile of apps all in one space, uh, which I think looks really distressing. There's uh, You can sort them and stuff like that and you can like, I don't know, it, it it's just... Ugh. You can't change the size of any of them. Like, I like to have my calculator a bit bigger to make it, like, just easy to just go, you know, quickly click, and then it's open, you know? Um, uh, it's really ugly. Your folders and settings and off button and profile all down the bottom here instead. Um, you know, it's just, like, they change shit for the sake of changing it, you know? Like, yes, that took up all that vertical space, but you could just make it one column. Uh, like I'll show in a screenshot here, which is how I usually have my PCs configured. Um, but yeah, this is just a lot of ugly. This is where it suggests like apps you've recently installed, apps you've recently used, you know, new and trending apps, stuff like that. I've turned that off and this just became a blank space that has nothing in it. So when I open an app, I have to like click and then drag my mouse all the way up here or like... <laughs> I don't know, what's that about? Um, and yeah, let's talk about these rounded corners. So like, you know, that was a big thing in the new Mac OS and here it is on Windows and it's, yep, you know, there's a corner and it's rounded. Enjoy your rounded corner, guys. Um, I don't know, it, it's sort of, it's whatever. Um, and it is the case for third-party apps. So if I open up just like a general 64-bit uh, app, um, you know, here's, here's Cinebench, um, it's the same thing for that, it's just got rounded corners tacked onto it, um, same for any app that you pretty much open that's in the legacy UI, 
Um, it's just got that rounded corner. It's fine, but it's not my choice. It's not an option for me. It's just what it is now. Um, you know, I like to have things the way I like them, and yeah, there's not a lot of customization options for that. Um, for example, like I've chosen a blue start bar. You know, this is XP. It's an XP theme, you know, whatever. Um, but the start menu button is blue, so it's blue on blue, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, but there's no option to make that white or anything like that. Um, you know, in Windows 10 at least, you could you could make it so it was black or white. Um, but in its current state, there's nothing down there to change that. Um, I know you can change this to make it just the time, which is what I prefer. I, you know, I generally know what day it is, and if I'm really lost, I can click up and change and see what day it is, um, but I haven't found the way to change that yet. I know it's like pretty deep in the menus, um, I don't remember exactly where it is. Um, so yeah, like, like I said, I like to have a lot of creative apps open at once and like file explorer windows to support each one of them and stuff like that. So if I just open a couple apps here, um, sorry, I keep double clicking. This is a pretty slow computer. Um, but look, I've got like four or five things open here. Three, you know, whatever. Um, but if I open like settings on top of all this. Come on, Windows. All right. Okay, so what apps do I have open? Um, well, it doesn't just say... There's, there's no words next to these icons. They're just sort of the icons. So at a glance, I can't just see, okay, this is the file explore window for this file. This is uh, Photoshop. This is, uh, you know, whatever the uh, Corel Draw logo is these days, you know? Uh, I can't easily see that. And of course, there's no option to uh, do that. If we go to Taskbar Settings, that option is missing. So like, if we switch over to my, uh, to my display, and this is how I have mine set. I've got small icons, I've got combined taskbar when full, which makes sense. I like to see what the, I, I, I like to see which folders I have open, what applications I have open. I like to have, you know, I might have multiple OBS windows open, multiple file explorer windows open. I like to visually see what they all are just at a glance, rather than having to move my mouse over, hover over them, Alt tab to see what's around, all that sort of stuff. You know, that's just inconveniencing me. Uh, but if we go over, back over to uh, Windows 11 here, um, here we are. The other thing you'll notice is that the taskbar is like double the size it should be. Uh, again, if we go back over to Windows 10, uh, sorry, where are we at? Half the size, you know. Uh, so there's no use small task icons, you know, that's just missing. Uh, you know, these are all tiny nitpicks and I'm, I'm a real hater that like, again, this is just Windows 10, but visually worse and UI worse and usability worse. Um, I've got no incentive to move over to it until we're having like situations where devices come out that have ARM core, like maybe like ARM coprocessors or something like that, and then Windows 10 doesn't support that for whatever fucked reason. Uh, I've got no incentive to move over to this OS. Um, you know, I'd be on I'd be on XP if I didn't need like 64-bit instruction set. I'd be on 7 if I didn't need DirectX 12. Uh, you know, stuff works. Everything still works on Windows 10. It's supported up to 2025. Um, that'll probably be extended, you know, as they do. And I think people are really, really going to be slow transitioning over, especially if it's such a fucked upgrade. Like, this has just served to inconvenience me, and I don't appreciate it. Uh, I'm not going to be switching. I'm glad I checked it out. Um, but in its current state, and you, you might say it's unfair of me to evaluate it in its current state. This is pre-release. It's leaked. This is going to be what they ship. Like, I just fucking know it. it. It was the same, like, for the Windows 10 build that was, like, 
leaked before that came out. It was pretty much the same thing as Windows 10. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, that's how I'm feeling, guys. I thought I'd just share it with you guys. It's been like a 10-minute video of me just complaining that, you know, that's it's Windows 11. It's It's nothing special. It's just ugly and less usable. Can you believe they put that in the middle of the screen? Like, just... Just for a fad, you know, just to be, just to be different. <sighs> for what it's worth, it does run well. I don't know, so does Windows 10.